Hi everyone. We are continuing to have the protests going on, and some are even getting violent. Now I wanted to show here quickly that we are nearing the time of the two beasts of the Bible that nearly none of the world knows about, and most preachers will not teach about. These two beasts, the beast out of the sea, and then the beast out of the earth. These are not together. One represents, one represents the wrath of the Lamb. That is Donald Trump. He represents the wrath of the Lamb coming. He is not salvation. He is not Michael the Archangel. Michael the Archangel is throwing him at us. And violence and world war will come. Obama represents one of the beasts, Satan, and he will actually be put back into the bottomless pit after all of this. The violence is spreading, but I just wanted everybody to know, especially on my channel, most of the world is not going to figure this out. Most of the preachers do not preach this in any way. Never. I've been to a lot of churches. They never talk of these two beasts. We are at the point of two beasts. But I just wanted to show that right there. Michael is throwing Donald Trump at us. Donald Trump is not the savior. It's part of the wine press in the Bible. Trouble, torment, everything is coming leading to World War III and the Four Horsemen. But please study these two. The beast out of the sea, who was given 40 and 2 months. 40 and 2 months. This is the same as the curse of the bears that came after came after Elijah is taken to heaven just as in a rapture situation. And then will come the bears and a curse from God. This is hard to understand. Donald Trump is a curse from Jesus Christ upon the world. And it will be the wrath of the Lamb. Do you see Elisha? First, Elijah goes to heaven. And then Elisha will take over for a time and he curses everyone with these bears. Here is where Elisha, or excuse me, Elijah goes to heaven. And it came to pass as they still went on to talk that behold there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up in a whirlwind to heaven. That is the same as a rapture situation a giant cataclysmic event coming. Every person that went with Elijah that was not allowed to go to heaven at this time fell down dead. Every single one that tried to go with him and they were not allowed, they fell down dead, except for Elisha. And Elisha saw it and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And then he picks up the mantle. And then he is mocked. He is mocked. Do you see now on Veterans Day the V for the fifth angel and the veteran? So now, just as Donald Trump is being mocked, he is a beast. And now he curses them with the bears. And there came out two she bears out of the wood and tear forty and two children of them. 40 and 2. Forty and 2. With the bears. The wrath of the Lamb is coming. Neither one is good. But this one's being sent by Jesus Christ and Michael as a curse upon the world. Please take your time and read 2 Kings. 
and realized they were at this time. And this flaming chariot is a worldwide catastrophic event. And anybody that is not chosen will fall down dead. And those that are chosen by God will make it to heaven. And then will come the bears. Because he's getting mocked. They are mocking him right now. They actually mock him for his bald head. Just like Donald Trump, they mess with him about his, him covering up his baldness with his comb over. They mocked Elisha because of his bald head. That's what's coming. And now also realize, hardly anybody's going to understand this or figure this out. None of our preachers are teaching this. There's two beasts coming. Yes, that's what's coming. The wrath of the Lamb. And then will come the wrath of God. So just prepare. Michael and Jesus are sending Donald Trump as a curse upon the world. Exactly as in 2 Kings. And they are mocking him right now. And that means the bears will be coming. It even has a lot to do with wormwood. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead. And you'll be saved. Hallelujah. I was quite astounded about all the comments in my last video I did there. Most people didn't understand this part. Michael is going to bring trouble. That's what I keep telling everyone. And that trouble is Donald Trump. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen from the dead. And you'll be saved. Hallelujah. They are mocking him right now. They are mocking him. And for those that don't know it, the Bible says the USA will be destroyed by violence. And Michael brings it. Thank you very much, everybody. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah.